हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ओशन करंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर ओशन करंट्स ओशन करंट फॉर्मेशन टाइप्स ऑफ ओशन करंट्स वार्म ओशन करंट्स कोल्ड ओशन करंट्स इफेक्ट्स ऑन अर्थ क्लाइमेट एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट आर ओशन करंट्स ओशन वॉटर इज कॉन्स्टेंटली मूविंग एंड नॉट ओनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेव्स एंड टाइड्स ओशन करंट्स आर लार्ज स्केल मूवमेंट्स ऑफ वाटर दैट फ्लो विद इन द ओशन बेसिस देर आर टू मेन टाइप्स ऑफ ओशन करंट्स सरफेस करंट्स एंड डीप करंट्स सरफेस करंट्स आर ड्रिवन बाय द विंड एंड आर फाउंड इन द अपर 400 हंड्रेड मीटर्स ऑफ द ओशन दीज करंट्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ वार्म एंड कोल्ड वॉटर अराउंड द ग्लोब Deep currents on the other hand are driven by differences in temperature and salinity and occur below the surface. These currents are responsible for the movement of water in the ocean's interior. Now let's discuss about ocean current formation. Ocean currents are formed by a variety of factors including wind, temperature, salinity and the earth's rotation. Wind is one of the primary drivers of surface currents. The wind creates friction with the surface of the ocean causing the water to move. The direction and speed of the wind determine the direction and speed of the current. For example, the trade winds in the tropics create the equatorial currents which flow from east to west. Temperature. Warm water is less dense than cold water, so warm water tends to rise to the surface while cold water sinks. This movement of water creates a current. An example of this is the Gulf Stream which flows from the Gulf of Mexico to the North Atlantic Ocean. Salinity. Water with higher salinity is denser than water with lower salinity. So it sinks to the bottom of the ocean. This movement of water can create a current. An example of this is the North Atlantic deep water which forms cold salty water sinks in the North Atlantic and flows southward. The earth's rotation also affects the movement of ocean currents. This is known as the Coriolis effect. In the northern hemisphere currents are deflected to the right while in the southern hemisphere currents are deflected to the left. This deflection causes currents to move in a circular pattern known as a gyre. Now moving on to types of ocean currents. Surface currents. These are driven by the wind and occur in the upper 400 meters of the ocean. These currents are responsible for the movement of warm and cold water around the globe. The North Atlantic current flows from the Gulf of Mexico to the North Atlantic Ocean, bringing warm water to the coast of Europe. Deep currents occur below the surface and are driven by differences in temperature and salinity. these currents are responsible for the movement of water in the ocean's interior there are two types of deep currents thermohaline currents and antarctic bottom water currents thermohaline currents are driven by differences in temperature and salinity antarctic bottom water currents are created when cold dense water sinks to the ocean floor in the southern ocean around antarctica now let's discuss about warm ocean currents Gulf Stream flows from the Gulf of Mexico to the North Atlantic responsible for the mild climate in western Europe. North Atlantic Drift, an extension of the Gulf Stream that flows towards the British Isles, bringing warm water and mild temperatures to the region. Kuroshio Current flows along the east coast of Japan, bringing warm water from the equator to the region. Brazil Current, it flows southward along the east coast of South America. bringing warm water from the equator to the region agulhas current flows along the east coast of south africa bringing warm water from the indian ocean to the south atlantic east australian current flows southward along the east coast of australia and somali current flows along the somali coast cold ocean currents Labrador current it flows southward along the east coast of Canada bringing cold water from the arctic to the north atlantic California current flowing southward along the west coast of north america bringing cold water from the north pacific Benguela current it flows northward along the west coast of south africa bringing cold water from the antarctic to the south atlantic 
canary current a cold current that flows southward along the west coast of north africa of morocco coast humboldt or peru current it flows northward along the west coast of south america chile peru region oyashio current flows southward along the east coast of japan and west australian current flows northward along the west coast of australia effects on earth's climate ocean currents play a crucial role in regulating the earth's climate by transporting heat and nutrients around the globe the movement of warm and cold water around the planet affects the distribution of heat which in turn affects the earth's climate temperature regulation gulf stream brings warm water from the gulf of mexico to the north atlantic which warms the climate of western europe Weather patterns the El Nino southern oscillation is a climate pattern that affects the tropical pacific ocean and can have far reaching effects on weather patterns around the globe ecosystems ocean currents play a vital role in supporting marine ecosystems upwelling currents bring nutrient rich water to the surface which supports the growth of phytoplankton example chili peru Warm and cold current meeting region also creates fishing grounds example new found land and japan fishing grounds now lastly let's discuss about the way forward ocean currents are an integral part of the earth's climate system their movement plays a vital role in regulating the earth's temperature and weather patterns surface current deep currents and upwelling currents all play a role in the movement of water around the globe Although the climate change is affecting the formation and effects of ocean currents by understanding how ocean currents are formed and their effects on the earth's climate we can better predict and manage the impact of climate change on our planet Now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims question that was asked in 2012 exam also consider the following factors one rotation of the earth two air pressure and wind 3 density of ocean water 4 revolution of the earth which of the above factors influence the ocean currents 1 and 2 only 1 and 2 and 3 only 1 and 4 only or 2 3 and 4 only and now mains question what are the forces that influence ocean currents describe their role in fishing industry of the world so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching